Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Hey, have you ever been desperately thirsty? I don't mean like, hey, let's stop and get a drink because I'm really thirsty. I'm talking about like you need water physically. There's only one time in my life I can remember being in that situation. Uh, we had recently moved to Arizona, uh, so I was probably 12 years old, uh, maybe 13, and my dad decided that we're going to go camping and we're going to go hike to this thing. And we took some water with us. I remember being a kid, so I had like a canteen. Remember the old ones that you know were just like warm water and, and plastic kind of thing. So uh, we're hiking, and uh, it was probably a couple miles, and it was warmer than we expected, and we ran out of water. All of us ran out of water, and we're coming back, and it's hot, and we're hiking in the desert, and I remember thinking, I desperately want water. In fact, we came across like this stagnant pool of water, and I'm like, I want to drink that. And my dad's like, no, you can't drink that. That'll kill you. So we hiked on, and we finally got back to camp, and I got water. You know, I don't think I've ever been so excited to drink, you know, hot or, you know, warm water than I ever was at that point. It was delicious. It was wonderful, and it was probably the thirstiest I have ever been. Psalm 42 speaks of thirsting for God, needing water, needing uh, him like a wild animal needs water when it thirsts. Listen to verses 1 and 2. As a deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When, when shall I come and appear before God? Now, what is it that drives the psalmist to deeply, urgently desiring God? Well, it's trouble. Listen on. He said, my tears have been my food day and night. While they say to me all the day long, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I would go with the throng and lead them in procession to the house of God with glad shouts and songs of praise, a multitude-keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. See, he's weeping, he's cast down, he's sorrowful as he remembers his faith and his faith experience as it used to be, as he used to worship in the presence of God, and now he desperately longs for that. I'm assuming you've been there, that all of us have been there, whether it's through grief or betrayal, failure, loneliness, or just growing cold in our hearts and our faith and feeling so far from God. Maybe you actually live there every day and it's a battle for you because of depression or anxiety and, and you're like, I, I desperately long for that place of God. Or maybe you're just thirsting for God, that first time experience with Jesus. I need him and I know it. Hear the faithful cry of desperation in verse 5 again. Why are you cast down, O my soul? Why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God for I will again praise him. I will praise him again. My salvation and my God. See, even when you're desperate, have hope. The psalmist is saying, don't give up. I believe, I trust, I'm going to endure in my faith for Christ. Um, Jesus put it this way, if you seek, you'll find. Paul put it this way, he said, do not grow weary in doing good, for in due time you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Sometimes the best we can do spiritually is just to endure, not give up, not stop in the puddle of stagnant water and make ourselves sick or worse, but to pursue Christ knowing that he alone is going to satisfy our thirst. He alone is going to give rest to our souls. He alone is going to renew our strength. So if you're struggling today, don't give up. If you're rejoicing today, then celebrate. But the day will come when you also will have to face that battle of endurance. And when that time comes, put your hope in your salvation and your God and don't ever quit. Not this side of heaven anyway. I hope that helps and I hope you have a blessed day.